What's up guys, it's uh, your bestest buddy here in the whole frickin' universe, Urban Blaster, and today we're gonna be playing some uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It's a free-to-play mobile game because I don't pay for this shit, and today we're gonna be taking a look at a, a character that I've never really even, uh, uh, I've seen him around, but I haven't really looked at him much, but it's uh, Finn, that uh, human light side resistance tank. And uh, he has uh, bumping up advantages, defense is up, exposing some fools. He has some pretty good leadership uh, defensive uh, stuff and some stunning. That's what he brings to the table. But he's a resistance dude, so he he'll complement my Ray real good. And um, today's a uh, uh, Finn. He's gonna be. He's provided by one of my allies, Resevenical. He rolls with the Injustice League Guild. But uh, let's take. Uh, let's go take that dude for a test drive. Let's see what Finn's all about. Let's uh, have him put a hurtin' on some fools in the Cantina battles. Here we are guys, it's a Finn, that light side tank resistance human, and uh, this one's uh, provided by my uh, ally uh, Resevenical. And uh, as you can see this one's 7 stars, level 80, power level of 8785, so that's up there, that's almost uh, a thousand more power than what the uh, Swagagaga says is a uh, pet max should be. As you can see he has them um, beefed up with the all health mods. We'll get to those numbers in a bit, but let's uh, take a look at his abilities. Um, he has that basic, it's the uh, crack shot. That's when he uh, deals physical damage to a target enemy. This attack deals a... Uh, um... This attack deals a uh, 65% more damage to enemies that haven't already been st struck by it. So that's pretty good. He's uh, just uh, doing some damage with that one. It's all about the damage with that crack shot. Then he has the uh, hold the line, that's a special. That's when Finn gains advantage and defense up for two turns. So he's bumping up his advantage and defense up. And in addition he recovers 10% uh, of his max health to the start of his his next uh, two turns. So I could see uh, why you'd want to roll some uh, health mods on him, bump up that health, because then it bumps up 10% uh, more of what, your, uh, of what that uh, max health is. So that's a uh, pretty good mods thrown on this dude. And then there's uh, the takedown. That's his uh, special. And that's when he deals uh, physical damage to a target enemy with 85% chance to expose him for two turns. And a 65% chance to stun him for one turn. So that's a pretty good odds, 85% to uh, expose him. And if you're not familiar with the expose, that's when uh, when they get that red above their head. And it uh, the next time they're hit, they're going to get 20% uh, of their health bumped down. And that's for two turns. So, so that's uh, if that thing lands, then it's going to get him like 40% uh, of his health down in, those, uh, in the next two turns. And then... Um, then a 65% chance to stun a fool, take away their turns, keep them from getting, putting a molly whopping on you and you'll just uh, mess them up. And then there's the uh, balance tactics, that's his leadership skills. Um, resistance allies gain 10% offense and 20% uh, and 20% uh, 20 defense and other allies gain half that amount. So my team today, Ray will be getting like a 10% bump up in offense and a uh, plus 20 more defense. But then the others, they'll get half that. Um, as you can see, he doesn't, uh, he maxed out, uh, the takedown, and, uh, this one's, he hasn't really did much, so he mustn't use him as a leader too much. But, uh, if you don't have a resistance team, then, then that's a pretty good move, and just not wasting any mats on a full. And then, here, uh, let's look at his numbers. With those mods, he's, his health's bumped up to 30 Gs. Um, Swagagaga says that should be maxed out at about 2300, 23,000, and then the uh, protections all the way up to 25,000. Speed, uh, it's only uh, bumped up too because he is kind of slow at rolling out of 115, but he'll still be kicking some ass. But uh, let's uh, see this dude in action. Okay, guys, here we are. It's a uh, Resevenicals, uh, 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 Finn rolling out of level 80, 7 stars, power level of 87, 85. And remember, we'll begin uh, bumping up a little bit on our rake, because I think that's the only resistance uh, member that I'll be rolling with. 
But uh, let's do this shit. We're at the cantina map uh, 7F uh, because we're trying to get to 7G so we could have another spot to farm uh, Anakin. Little Orphan Annie. That's what I'm uh, going for today. But uh, as you can see, uh, we got a pretty uh, beefed up team. We got 7 starred Lumi. She's going to bring those evasion skills with the. Uh, with rolling in that spot and we got a squad power of 42,000 that's pretty fucking good cause these we're gonna need all the power we need cause we're rolling a, up against some uh, level uh, 82 fulls they're, they're, they're up there but our mods will make the difference you know they, they these dudes were invented were out there before mods were even invented you know so we're gonna put a hurtin on these fulls but here's a Lando 7 stars, Savage Press, he puts a full to rest, rolling at 7 stars level 80. Then there's a Qui-Gon Jinn, he'll knock the green off right off your fucking head. And I got his a uh, double mollywop Omega, so it's the Omega double mollywop fools. And here we go rolling with the resistance team, crew member, whatever, you know what the fuck I mean. It's Ray, and uh, then there's Finn, and uh, so let's do this shit. We're gonna sp uh, risk 16 dineros against this uh, uh, map, but I have no doubt we'll get to it. We may not three star, but I have a pretty good. I'm pretty sure we will. We'll uh, just see what uh, type of um, uh, decisions I make. And uh, uh, remember, we're wrong with Finn. He has that crack shot basic. That's the one where it deals 65% more damage to an enemy that hasn't been hit by it. And then there's a... Uh, oh, here we are. It's all loaded. A little lag. But let's do this shit. And um, hmm, we'll just go after this dude. He's a little weaker. The Cartel Spy. Level 82. But we'll double molly whop a fool. Oh, Ray almost uh, put him to rest. But now she'll do that. And here we go. We'll, uh, we'll save the, the AoE since there's only two fools out there. And we'll uh, switch over to this dude. Or maybe we'll try to force blast this dude and take away his abilities, because his turn's coming up. Uh, we'll just have Savage Press just crunch his fucking spine. Oh, he kind of resisted that a little bit. But now we'll see uh, Finn's uh, basic. We'll do it against this dude who hasn't been hit. If it should take uh, attack 65% more because it, he hasn't been hit with this thing yet. Oh, took it almost halfway down. And uh, so now we'll have a Qui-Gon Chin put a hurtin' on this mob enforcer. And then we'll have Rhea take this fool out. Oh, crushed him like nothing. I thought these dudes were level uh, 82 fools. They're getting punked by some level 80 dudes. Two of three, let's do this shit. Okay. Um, let's take out these, uh, Jawas first. They're, uh, pissing me off. Martini! What, are they frickin' alcoholics, or what? But we'll take this one out. And then, uh, we'll put a hurtin' on this dude. Burn this one up so we could, uh, get our turn meters up. Uh, I mean, uh, get the refresh down after a few more turns. We'll save AoEs for last round. Damn, this Finn's slow. I wanted to see him in action, but he, he's just frickin' uh, uh, not even getting his turns up. What have we seen? They used him twice? Three of three! Let's do this shit! Here we are. It's a level 82 gold matted uh, uh, Ray by herself. Holy crap. It's the Star Killer base Ray. She's got that lightsaber. When are they gonna bring that character out? But we'll uh, put a hurtin' with Savage Press. And then we'll uh, do the uh, hold the line. This one, uh, Finn gains advantage and defense up. Oh, but he, he's not hurting, so we'll just do uh, the takedown. Oh, it stunned him and took away. Uh, it did expose. What's this one? It's the stun will be uh, missed. Then he got the exposed, so it should take 20% more on this hit. Oh, that took her almost halfway down. Now we'll double molly a full with the Qui-Gon Jinn. And she's just taking a hurtin'. We'll make her rain some blood just because we fucking can. 
Ooh, crunch that a little bit. Forty hundred, four thousand damage. Then we'll uh take away some abilities with Lumi. Oh, it didn't stick, but it did uh take her down some. Then we'll uh do the overpower crunch of Mug's spine. Now uh, geez, this Finn's slow. I didn't hardly even get to use him. She'll be done. But we'll just uh do the basic. Let try to let Finn have a little fun. Dude's slow, he needs some motherfucking methamphetamines. Victory! Three star to 82 uh, level dudes, they ain't got nothing on us. But, uh, the loots were average. Eh. Average. But, let's uh see if we could uh do that again. I want to see Finn again. We'll take on 7G. I, um, if you didn't know the trick, if you, uh, if you do did an ally, the usual reset is like frickin' uh, four hours before you could bar him again. All you do is have to go do some challenges, and then that uh, brings that resets your uh, ally uh, usage stuff. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's just made that way, but I don't know. It works. Let's uh, let's sim some shit. Go see if we can get that wizard ass Finn in there again. Get to the uh. Get to the um, to the map where we're gonna get us uh, a freaking Anakin. Okay, here we are. Let's uh battle this. I want to get me an Anakin, and let's uh I want to see more about Finn. He he was uh he was pretty good. But this trick better work. I don't want to wait four more hours. I want to see Finn in action and, uh, uh, you know. Spare put me on the right frickin', uh. And if we don't see Finn soon, we'll just pick a dude. I want to show off Finn some more because he seems like a pretty good tank. And he's bumping up Ray. He's a good compliment to the Ray, uh, tag team. And I just want to see if uh, doing those challenges actually unlocked that dude. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass, I don't know. But it, it's always uh, freaking annoying where you can't just pick your uh, the allies you want to use. I ain't got all day for this shit. Hurry it up. We might just uh, roll with the wedge. I saw some dudes with wedge. Leroy Jenkins rolling with a beefed up red wedge. Okay, we might just roll with the wedge. Come on, Finn. Okay, we're gonna roll with Finn uh, with the uh, Leroy Jenkins Finn. He's a power uh, level eighty seven stars. Let's do this shit. And uh, I do got a uh, Biggs, but he's not nearly anywhere ready to go in yet. But um, let's uh, do this. Same team, just with the Wedge as the other dude. We're going to crush down the Cantina maps today. Wish I could have been using that Finn again. He has that uh, basic and of, uh, what was his basic? The uh, Crack Shot. That's when he takes 65% more damage against a full. We'll uh, crush these dudes with the uh, wedges AOE. Get ready to be uh, obliterated, fools! Oh, that—that's—that's—that's that's, that's why I'm farming that dude. If I had Bigs, we would uh, be uh, putting a hurt even more of a hurting. But Mace Window, he's uh, going down, and now uh, uh, Darth Sidious Ray will just put him down now. Oh, and then we'll just uh. Take out uh, Leia before she starts getting annoying with those bonus attacks. We'll uh, force blast her into tomorrow. And then we'll uh, do uh, Wedge's basic. That's when he deals physical damage to a target enemy man and inflicts uh, defense down until the end of Wedge's next turn. This attack deals 50% more damage to a target suffering defense down. So hopefully, and that's just his basic, so every time he uses it, he... There's defense down, so if if he gets up again for another turn, he'll inflict even more damage against this uh, Leia, level 53. 
I mean 83 gold matter but yep 20% more down because she has the defense down that almost put her to rest now we'll uh oh she took that one didn't think she'd survive that but Lando puts the nail in the coffin two of three we're on our way to victory okay here we are um let's put a hurting on HK f on a We'll take out the, the lowliest pleb back there, frickin' Luke Skywalker, that turd of a character. He won't even get a turn today, fool. Double molly wop, Qui-Gon style, put him to rest. Now we'll have Savage Press take out uh, Little Orphan Annie. He ain't gonna get to do that AoE today. Not with this cruel crew. And then we'll uh, uh, get ready to be uh, odd with this AoE. That's when it uh, deals physical damage to all enemies. This attack deals 50% more damage to Empire enemies or enemies with 50% uh, health or more. So all these dudes will begin uh, a molly whopping with that 50% more. Uh, oh, no wonder it, it just fucking destroys a fool. Now we'll do our basic to uh, uh, HK 47, take away his defense down. Now we'll just uh, make it rain blood on these fools. I probably wasted that, but maybe I did get the two crits, I don't know. But we'll put a hurtin' with Ray. Um, we don't need no healing, so Lumi will just, uh, mollywop a full. And then, uh, he has no green over his head, so we'll just save that for when we need it. And then we'll deal this basic. 20% more down, because he's rolling with that defense down. Spajo press, he'll, uh, put a hurtin'. And then Lando, we'll uh, we'll save that one for next round. AO, uh, AOE's and special abilities all for the last round. Cause this HK's going down before he even gets a frickin' turn. Three of three, it's the final encounter. Better be fucking ready cause we're coming for you Chewie. Who's the boss on this one? It's a Palpatine, 83 gold matted. We'll take. There's two hard hitters, so we'll go with Ray first. Um, we'll force blaster. Then we'll AOE these fools. Boom! Lando never even had a frickin' chance. That's why I'm farming wedged, because he's gonna crush it for me in PvP. I've seen Leroy Jenkins, the PvP master, use that dude, and he crushes. Palpatine may not even get a turn. And then we'll, uh,. Do this one. Ray puts a hurtin' on a full. 11,000 damage. Did you see that? Did you frickin' witness that? And then we'll double molly a full. Qui-Gon Jinn and Ray. I didn't see any uh, damage numbers, but you know they put a hurtin'. Took his defense down. There he goes with that AoE stunning a fools. And then we'll do the overpower from Savage Opress. 10,000 10, in damage. That's why I roll with that dude. Let's do some AoEs all around. Didn't see the damage numbers on that, but it was good. Oh, that one's a beast, especially when you have the uh, uh, defense already down. We'll save down because he doesn't have any green over his head. And then we'll just AoE. This will put this full to rest, I hope. With style. Oh, boom! He just fucking imploded. Victory! Three star. This one now I could farm me an Anakin. Little Orphan Annie. Got me a frickin' uh, uh, shard. Oh, I'm only one uh, uh, shard away from uh, uh, just uh, getting him up to uh, five stars. Then I could uh, maybe take him into PvP. See what he's. But he's not in purple gear. He's not even to level 80 yet. But he, he'll get there. But let's. Um, do an inaugural multi-sim. Three should do it to get us that one last shard. Boom! There it is. Let's see if I even have enough frickin' barely have enough dinero to get him up to five stars. So I'll hold off on that till the next uh, credit heist comes out. But uh, ooh, maybe I got uh, five Vader shards. And that's for uh, completing level seven on the cantina. We pummeled through that. But you witnessed that, uh, frickin' victory of all victories.
So you guys uh, witnessed it. We saw f that uh, cool uh, resistance uh, tank uh, human um, fin in action. I'm, I, I'm, uh, I like that dude. He, uh, he has some pretty good uh, 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 specials. He has that uh, basic, the crack shot. That's when he deals it. That thing will uh, do 65% uh, more damage against somebody who hasn't already been used against so you kind of got to watch out who you're using it against but it does pretty good damage that dude won't be lasting very much longer because he's pretty slow no wonder they have to add 65 percent more damage because he may not even get another freaking turn before uh the the next dude then he has that special to hold the line that's when he uh he gains advantage and defense up for two turns and he uh recovers 10% of his max health. That's why you want to bump up his uh, max health with those health mods because then if he ever does need to get a heal, uh, it, it's 10% it's more than it's just fucking good. And then there's the uh, takedown. That's when he uh, deals physical damage to a target enemy with an 80 for Five percent chance to expose them for two turns and a 65 percent chance to stun them for one turn so uh, with him exposing dudes and uh, stunning them that's uh that's just good for your team because each uh, those two turns it's gonna be a uh, 20 percent uh, more damage on anybody who hits him during those before that uh, expose is gone and then he has some pretty good leadership skills for uh, resistance allies. They get offense up and defense ups. And then half of, uh, half of it for mo other non-resistance dudes. And then you gotta see uh, Leroy Jenkins' uh, wedge in action. He's a, he, he, that's a powerful uh, frickin' tune. That's why I'm uh, farming that guy. And uh, Finn, I, I really liked him. I, I don't know if I'm gonna farm him anytime soon. But uh... It's always good to, to test drive these dudes that you don't have, see what they're all about. And uh, right now I don't see a, a spot on him for my team. But, um, and uh, that fin was uh, provided by one of my allies, Resevenical. He rolls with the Injustice League guild. He uh, He's in the top uh, 50 in PvP. Um, that's why it's good to have some really good allies, because they help you put a hurtin' on those hard maps. But uh, I hope you like this video, and uh, go uh, farm you a fin. I'm out.